almost every year that I've lived here there has been wastewater flood which actually comes up to my knee height so it is dirty foul water surcharging from sort of manhole cover you feel anxiety you can't sleep at night um, you feel trapped in the situation because there's no way out it's hard to sell your home it's hard to get insurance uh, and our premiums have shot up at the time I felt very on edge, very anxious and a bit emotionally fragile. It was quite tough, um, obviously it's the place where I live and sewage flowing out in a way that you can't really stop, you're just watching things getting worse. It's, uh, it's very tough. I felt stressed, I felt um, concerned about the impact of the flooding on my home. I called, sat on hold for an hour, and then it cut me off. So I, di I didn't speak to someone. They actually sent the cleanup crew next door. Um, and the guy said, I know I need to go to the other houses. But because I hadn't logged a call, because I couldn't get through to them, he wasn't allowed to come here. So it, it's, it's just quite, it's quite frustrating. They come out, they do the investigation, they tell you they'll call you back. You don't hear anything, you get given a reference number. So you call back a week later, you spend an hour on hold someone brings up your record, it doesn't appear that it's been like updated fully with the conversations you've had on the day with the contractor on the ground because you're passing on different information that the person reading the record doesn't have. In the end, the correspondence dried up. Here's a reference number if you need anything else. There's nothing really more we can do.